<laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the season premiere of Off the Wire. We're back, picked up for another season. You didn't think it was going to happen, neither did we. My name is Jeremy Erdheim, and I am your host for this year. Now, I have to admit, saying that is a little weird. Uh, I've been a part of Off the Wire for three years now since I was a freshman. I worked with the previous three hosts. I helped them write jokes, create their monologues, come up with bits, and I'm finally ready to be in front of the camera and take credit for everyone who do that for me. <laughs> so like, how do, I, how do I start this? I mean, when Jimmy Fallon started on The Tonight Show, his first episode, he comes out and he introduced himself to the audience. He showed them the floor that was marked with a four-leaf clover, a very important symbol to him. And that was his mark where he would stand every night and deliver monologues. So naturally, I asked if I could get a symbol on the floor from my monologue position, but apparently etching my face in the floor isn't in the budget and I should see a specialist. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a junior here at the University of Miami, disappointing my parents, excuse me, studying film. Uh, no, no, I'm kidding. Not about the studying film part, unfortunately, but I do have a very supportive family. We have a picture of them here. Uh, I remember when we took that picture. <laughs> Now I hear a few murmurs that you guys might be saying I photoshopped that because I couldn't get my family to agree to a picture where they all look good. And to that, I have to say you're right. So my mom is actually the reason I'm here today, at Off The Wire also. Uh, three years ago, my mom came back from an orientation event and said, I found this club and you're joining. So how about that, mom? It took three years, but I'm host. So can I please quit now? I don't even like comedy. I'm a New Yorker, born and raised on Long Island. Long Island, home to Billy Joel, short guys that get angry about bagels, and iced tea. Woo! Th thank you. <laughs> this summer, I went back home and worked with Newsday. Newsday is a media company on Long Island. Ooh. Uh, but I got the chance to work as a production assistant on a food TV show, which was actually a very cool and insightful experience. I believe we actually have some pictures of my work with them. Ah, yes. Oh, uh, look at me there. Yes, there I am. A true professional. I mean, come on. Oh, crucial to the team. But now I'm back in Miami, doing what I love, being a part of this show, making sketches, writing jokes, and putting on a bi-weekly late night comedy show with my very funny friends. We all work very hard to put this on, some more than others, <laughs> Bernard. Uh, but with that being said, we've got a great show for you tonight. The University of Miami's own vlogger, It's Danny, is here. <laughs> it's Danny, guys, come on. But first, does anybody have that one friend that never gives an opinion and is always just along for whatever? Here's a sketch for you. 